Now, I would like to turn the call over to Akarna CEO, Jessica Billingsley. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Our third quarter results continued their momentum for 2021. The software revenue growth of 37% year over year. Our business as a whole grew 38% year over year and 5% sequentially with a mix of both organic and inorganic software revenue. Our total SaaS ARR is currently 16.5 million, a 25% increase over the same period last year. In addition to top line growth, our focus on cost containment and accretive acquisitions continues to deliver results, with adjusted EBITDA improving 49% year over year and 6% sequentially. Looking ahead to the growth drivers of our business, there are a series of opportunities ahead for Akarna, from new markets and product line expansion to new regulations and ultimately to legalization at the federal level. On today's call, and in light of the strategic acquisitions we have made this year, I'd like to spend some time discussing our business strategy and the product portfolio and ecosystem we are creating. At the heart of our strategy is our ecosystem, which incorporates both our compliance engine as well as our open API infrastructure, which enables the seamless exchange of information between applications. In our view, having a robust compliance engine with the greatest breadth and depth of capabilities is crucial to being an enterprise software provider in the cannabis industry, as regulatory requirements are a foundational part of virtually every operational process. Of course, having a leading compliance engine is only one piece in the overall solution, as both user interface applications like point of sale, cultivation, and manufacturing, with reporting applications like SAP, Microsoft 365, and NetSuite, which need to integrate directly across the software stack to pass information back and forth. This is where the importance of our ecosystem and our over 80 integrations come into play. Through our standalone gateway, with which both our applications and those of our ecosystem partners integrate, we have significantly reduced the complexity of maintaining compliance within the fragmented, ever-changing market framework. Given this architectural approach, and our long-standing presence in the market. The net result is the ability for us to build a robust software portfolio with the most comprehensive compliance and regulatory capabilities in the industry, able to serve both the business and compliance requirements of the entire cannabis supply chain in more medical and recreational markets in North America and beyond than anyone else. To help illustrate how the platform works together, Let's take an example of a vertically integrated MSO who owns cultivation, manufacturing, and retail locations. At each facility, which is a distinct step in their supply chain process, there are separate workflows and associated software applications with which employees regularly interact. This is often where challenges are introduced, namely how to capture the data from those separate processes and leverage it across the organization for compliance, financial and data-driven analytic purposes. MSOs often have three choices to solve this problem. First, they can develop their own applications and workflows, which often leads to manual intensive processes like the use of spreadsheets, lacks sophistication and features, and introduces significant liability risk by taking on the responsibility for compliance changes and updates. It is in this group where the majority of the industry sits today, essentially creating good enough solutions to keep the organization running while management attention is focused on building and growing the business footprint. The second solution is to use a competing product, which generally comes with pre-built applications for generic workflows and limited integration with applications and data beyond the core environment. While sometimes easier to implement than developing from scratch, these products often use a one-size-fits-all approach. They're limited in the ability to upgrade with new features and do not integrate with resource planning applications like SAP and Microsoft 365. In addition, as MSOs grow and look to penetrate new states, if those products do not yet serve the compliance requirements of those regions, MSOs are then required to deploy separate systems thereby increasing the complexity of their overall environment. 
The third option is Akarna, which offers MSOs a broad ecosystem of integrations to leverage the best-in-class applications of their choosing for each of their facilities, while at the same time offering the ability to integrate data captured across the organization and leverage decades of best practices in supply chain and manufacturing through industry-leading applications. In addition, by tightly integrating our retail, point of sale, and e-commerce applications like MJ Retail and our newly introduced Akarna Connect, we are able to provide MSOs with both the necessary consumer data to make effective business decisions and the ability to seamlessly interact with consumers with the potential to quickly enable payments when legislation is passed. This is why we believe the infrastructure improvements we've made and the acquisitions we've closed in the last two years positioned Akarna for success. Delivering compliant access to the necessary comprehensive set of capabilities has been a focus of ours as we strengthen our channel connections with existing enterprise financial and tax planning providers and firmly solidify our strategic moat as the only true enterprise software solution and scaled technology ecosystem for the cannabis industry. This started with our own integration with SAP, NetSuite, and Sage and continued with our acquisition of Viridian earlier this year as we took the strategic steps to broaden the scope of our offering to cater to the growing needs of our clients. With the recent addition of 365 Cannabis, we further extended these capabilities to the Microsoft product suite. From our perspective, this was of particular importance to the cannabis industry as the Microsoft Dynamics 365 offering has been gaining wide acceptance with small to mid-sized organizations which is well suited for the scale of many of the MSOs in existence today. As these companies look to take the next step in their IT evolution and move beyond spreadsheets and the Office 365 product suite, including Word and Excel, to more robust enterprise software solutions, Microsoft becomes a natural choice. With our integrations, now covering access to a majority of the mainstream mid-market financial and tax planning market, we believe this is a crucial competitive advantage. Regardless of a cannabis business's preference for a particular accounting and tax suite or other traditional ERP add-ons such as HR and payroll, we have the widest variety of solutions to meet their needs. As we discussed on prior calls, over the past few years, there has been a substantial positive change in the political and social climate surrounding the cannabis industry which has seen continued growth in revenue, new markets, and consumers. As new markets are added and the possibility of U.S. federal reform advances, cannabis operators are looking to expand their operations both vertically and horizontally by opening locations in new states. As these businesses grow and the complexity of their operations expands, they increasingly require comprehensive enterprise software systems that can scale with them from startup to enterprise while always maintaining multi-state compliance. As our clients continue to scale their operations and the industry makes a natural progression to maturity, we believe the leadership position we've created will allow us to capitalize on the multitude of growth sectors ahead. 